Hello, Joannes. Do you have anything for us? Shy enormous wheelbarrow. packing filler bubbles, uh, a grab bag, something pink, a whole bunch of packaging. Uh, wish I could take that wheelbarrow, but it is way too big. We do not have room in the van. But I definitely want to get this bag right here. There's at least some loose flowers. Oh, and a dead moth or butterfly. Poor thing. All right, I gotta get the rake. We can get to it. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys can even see this, but it's a cricket. come and get that while I continue trying. Oh, there's just all this other like heavy stuff. It's a cricket machine. <laughs> but just getting that cricket machine Especially if it works. <laughs> yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, trying to decide if I want to make the effort of moving that wheelbarrow. Craft store. Oh, that is a great wheelbarrow. Unfortunately, it is just in our way. Ugh. I totally just bent my rake. Damn it. Guys, the rake is broken. Here, little. I know, that thing is freaking heavy. Well, that sucks. Been a good break. Oh, I'm gonna have to get in. There's another cricket thing over there. I don't know how I'm gonna get back out, but because we just broke the rake, <laughs> I don't have much choice. What are all those bead things, I wonder? Darn wheelbarrow. Making me get in here. Breaking my rake. Bag filler. Okay, 
Can you grab that, Lulu? A tote. Oh, a bunch of goodies. We'll take this whole bag. Lulu. Careful, it's open. Oh, I doubt this will make up for, here's a tote too, Lulu. Make up for breaking my rake. Unless these crickets work and we sell them. There's another little tote, I'll take it. And some pretty sparkly things. But yeah, there's another cricket. There, Lulu. There's some stuff in here we'll want to grab. That'll be good for standing on to get back out. Oh, that's some fun fabric. Kellogg's Oat Bran or Corn Flakes or whatever. I got some Christmas ornaments. This is a bit of a mess. probably all because I don't want to risk this thing falling on me. Not right before Disneyland. And yes, I know, I don't have my gloves on. I honestly didn't think I'd find anything in here, and so I didn't think I would need them. <sighs> I'll hand these out to Lou, and then we'll try to get out of this thing and get home and look at what we found. Here, Lulu. stuff. Okay, yeah. Let's get out of here. Hopefully. Wait, I want that. Yeah. Yeah, we can fix that. Let's see what we got out of the craft store bins. Some pretty awesome stuff. So these uh, beanbag filler beads ended up being quite a pain and I'm going to be cleaning up a bunch of them from the van before our trip. Uh, what else? Oh, here's another little mishap. This was only cracked. It was a whole wreath and was only cracked, but we got so many things from our dumpster dive on Sunday that it ended up under a lot of other stuff, and it's now in several pieces. Yeah, that sucks, but I can probably repair it. There are these two totes. We will definitely use those. Another casualty. So this is a planter thing, you know, that you... It has wheels and you put a plant on it to move it around. It already was broken right here, but it was only missing one of the caster wheels. Well, now you can see that out of the three, there's only one still attached. So I have a couple of options here. I can just break the other wheel off and use this as a wall art piece, which would be fantastic. Or I can use some of the many caster wheels that I have in our crafting supplies. We'll see what I decide to do. There are several sheets, and it looks like they're sold, uh, yeah, singly, but several sheets of laminating paper. I will add those to the crafting center. Two Christmas ornaments. This one is in perfect condition, it looks like, and this poor guy is missing an arm. Darn it. But yeah, we can add him to a wreath or something, and that won't even matter. Or if we really want to, we can put a new arm there. This is meant to be a candle holder, stands like this, and this and its other broken half would be like that. Well, I don't have the other half, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I will figure something out with it. Hopefully, I can 
rig something and make it back into a candle holder. Otherwise, it will go into our scrap wood pieces in our uh, crafting supplies. Look at these buttons. Oh, no. Beautiful little butterflies. Looks like one is missing. That is okay. We will keep those. This little guy, he's from Easter, a little gnome. He is missing one of his feet, poor thing. But we will add him also to our crafting supplies. He could go in a wreath or any number of other things. Some loose flowers. This, I'm really not sure what this is. If one of you knows, please tell me. It's just plastic. It opens up. I have no idea. There's this beautiful little frame that is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with that frame. And then there are all of these little frame mats and uh, I'm really not sure if these were meant to go with other frames, like if they came with other frames or if these are purely for crafting, like scrapbooking, but you know we'll find something to do with those. Then there is this little mini clipboard and the problem here is it's missing the bolt on this side. I can probably glue that. Uh, it wouldn't last terribly long that way. I am planning to invest in a soldering iron and that would definitely do the job. So stay tuned for that. We have googly eyes. I've already repaired the bag there. Same with this uh, moss collection. I already repaired that as well. Add those to our crafting supplies. There is this uh, glue gun multi-pack. It's got permanent crafting tape, a whole bunch of glue sticks, and the high temp glue gun that we're going to have to test. Even if it doesn't work, that's all right because we're still getting this uh, crafting tape and these glue gun or glue guns, <laughs> glue sticks. There is this package of curved upholstery needles. I'm gonna see if anyone I know happens to have a use for these because I definitely don't. These I will be keeping. They are removable Velcro mounting squares. I wish I would have had these, darn it, for some of our uh, Disneyland prep and the things we were making. These are decorative head pins. It has the little uh, breast cancer ribbon and it says damaged snags. Um, I don't see any issues with it, but maybe after we try them, I don't know. But anyway, we'll figure something out. There is some floral ribbon. Very pretty. We will add that to our mountains of ribbon. I've been sharing ribbon lately with neighbors and friends and family. I'm going to have to start sharing some more because there is just so much. There is a lovely little bracelet. I think it's just missing the tag is all. We, we get beads all the time. We can totally use some with this, make some little charms. There's some Americana decor, curb appeal, front door, and shutter paint. That is really exciting. I have shutters. I wonder if this would be enough to cover them. I don't know, because I've been wanting to change up the color out there. Hmm, we'll think about it. Then there is some chalk acrylic paint. A, uh, this says use with LED tea light only. Yeah, no problem. We have plenty of those. There is another little solar light. We'll test that out. The last one we found worked perfectly and is out in the front yard. Then there is this uh, kind of barn wood, recovered wood look sign. These two boards need to be um, reattached. They I've just stuck them back in there temporarily, but maybe one more nail in each of them would do the job. There's this Little Maker's Summer Mermaid Foam Kit. It says one piece is missing, but we will still definitely do something with that. That would have been nice to have for Mariah's birthday party because we went with the mermaid theme. There is a value pack of feathers. Look at all those great feathers. And I did go ahead and tape that, but they are still somehow coming out of there. I'm going to have to tape it a little better. And these were inside the top of this bag of filler. And so there are still some, you know, feathers floating around in there. Then there are these two sparkly bits. And I am quite certain these are meant to go on wine bottles or whatever kind of, you know, other bottle you'd want to use them for because they're not open at this end. Well, actually, maybe a little bit they are but it definitely looks like they're meant to decorate some wine bottles, which would be great. We could 
put them on the wine, but I don't know. Probably not, but maybe I'll give it a try, actually. I kind of like them. There is a really good size piece of fabric. It's uh, Kellogg's, Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes, All Brand, uh, Pep. Pep? I have not heard of that one. Maybe some of you remember it. Let me know in the comments if you do. Uh, Raisin Bran, stuff like that. Anyway, really fun fabric. This would be really cool for like a pillow or some kind of wall art piece. Yeah, it's just got a fun rustic feel to it. Then, oh my goodness, this is what we've all been looking forward to and so excited about. I'm sorry guys, we are not going to be able to test them out today. I had hoped to. Uh, you know, I wanted to have that in for this video, but that is just not going to happen. We are right on the cusp of our vacation. It's, yeah, I just have way too much to do. So I am not going to be able to test them today, but I will definitely put them in one of our update follow-up videos and we will let you know for sure if those work. If they do, holy cow, they are both Cricut Explore Air 2 models. It would be so wonderful. Oh my goodness, it would be so wonderful. And my Lulu figured out what it is that they're supposed to do and it's, they cut things. So vinyl, paper, iron-ons, poster board, bonded fabric, cardstock, and light cardstock. That is so exciting. Oh, I really hope they work. Uh, I could see us keeping one, maybe, but it really depends on resale value. If, you know, if they're worth a decent amount, then we're gonna wanna sell them. Uh, just to, you know, put money towards other trips and adventures because that's definitely worth more to us than things. We like to create memories and experiences. So if they if they have a good resale, then we'll definitely go ahead and do that with them. That is it. That is all for the crafting haul. Come on back. We have one more, one more of our dumpster dive, live dive, and reveal combos, and that is the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned for that. I will be getting that up very soon. Have a wonderful day, my frugal friends. I sure appreciate you guys, and uh, take care.